With the conclusion of Red Bull Kumite 2024, we're going to dive in and showcase our picks for the top five moments from the event. Him right here. He and he did he it. Starting things off, we go to round one of the tournament, where after the draw, most of the matchups looked like they were gonna be pretty one-sided. The one most people thought was gonna be a wash, including me, was Broski versus Mena RD, Aki versus Luke. Out the gate, it looked like they were right, as Broski got perfected in game one, and for two more rounds, got put in the corner by Mena and mixed like cake batter. Pressure, rush down, scoops, scoops, and oh yeah, more scoops. Jump in, it's not gonna work, not gonna stay the defense of Mena on D, a back throw. But Broski proved that he came to play. In game three, he managed to finally trap Mena in the corner, set up this godlike bait. You don't want so that. Good. Nice Man, save, Joe and earned the perfect of his own. Perfect from Broski, fighting back. Aki is cool. From here on, Broski got the anti-airs going, and it turned into a no-fly zone for Mena's Luke. After nearly dropping the last round of the game, Broski managed to fight through burnout and get one on the board. This Mena's is the bully. Time He's for Mena the bully. Oh, nice the challenge. challenge. Oh, challenge. the challenge. The challenge. Wow. Following it up, Broski tied the set 2-2, and suddenly we had a set in our hands. Got two more active frames, mm. so it checks things a lot better. Oh, he could die. He's dead here. Yeah. He's dead he here. Full combo. Here. Level one. There Take him to the sky. Put him in the bubble. Broski. Broski. That should be it. Yeah, that's it. Mena RD takes back the lead. I not gonna work. Mena so smart. He didn't di back. Right. He you knows the is too low. He was aware. Okay. You gotta oh, watch God. out. What are you gonna oh, Oh just walk behind the bubble. Yeah, walk behind the bubble. Keep it safe. Oh, that's right. You, you, oh, oh, my God. God. He's strike. What? Now, now you should be scared. You're in danger. Oh, you are dead. Oh, you this are is dead. dead. This is no, so watch this. you are dead. Yes. Level watch three. You are dead. That's a level three. James, you are right. He should have spent the bar. Who's still there? Back dash. Dash. Wait a minute. What? Side what? Switch. What? what kind of side switch was that? Jump. Crouch heavy. D.I. Spend the meter. You have so much bar. You need to chase before. You can kill him right here. He and he him. did it. He Let's go. He he has has is three. Broski is up four to three over Meta RD. This right there. there. Oh, oh my he God. Had it. He had it. He did. He just yeah. got chipped right there. Here we go. Four, four. Ties it up. Four, four. Final four. One more. Four, four. Final game. One more. Game nine. Four, here. four. One more. But in the ninth and final game. Mena shows why he is one of the tournament favorites, taking round one and bookending the set with yet another perfect to finish it off. That's gonna do it right there! Mena RD takes it over Broski! He succeeds! An unbelievable showing from Broski, who nearly took down the eventual Red Bull Kumite champion in the first round. Which leaves us wondering, what might have happened if he won? Guess we'll never know. Big Bro, he's dead. See, yeah, he's, he's dead. dead! He's dead! He's, he's actually dead! dead. Our number four spot goes to the Red Bull Kumite 2023 champion, Big Bird, playing Marissa, who takes down Tokido's Ken in dominant fashion. In game one, Big Bird set the tone for the set, netting a perfect in round one, but round two went the other way with Tokido on the brink of a perfect of his own. Hmm. Advancing Norm out, the gen right. Oh, what, what a check. Off. You just finished your, your combo. How are you so ready to Double check that? Perfect. Back to back. Oh, oh, oh. This is where Big Bird, the reigning Red Bull Kumite champion, locked in. One mistake from Tokido was all it took for Big Bird to take his sliver of health all the way to the bank. Oh! Oh my god. And he's almost at level three as well! Big Bro, he's dead! He's, he's, dead. he's, dead. Dead. he's, dead. he's, he's dead. dead! He's actually dead! dead. That is a dead Look, cat! Who are? <laughs> comboing into his critical art and sending a message, this is my house. From here on, Big Bird starts to download. Is this the gatekeeper? Where are you going? Oh. Oh. Where are you going? He wins game two, but Tokido claps back and takes game three. God bless. Oh my goodness, Tokido. Yes. For a brief moment, it looks like there might be signs of life. Unfortunately, Big Bird was just waiting for the files to verify and the download was complete. He took game four, game five, and the sixth and final game. Big Bird showed why he was the defending champion. In round two, he performed a disgusting bait and read Tokido's entire soul. Oh, yeah, the bait. oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, next round, please. Next round, please. Earning himself the perfect, 
then ending off the set by putting Tokido in the corner and finishing the job. No. He starts it with a big jump in. A big, big first smells blood. Command throw, yes, oh, some goal. Where do you go? Oh, oh, oh. scored it. Standing strong right here. Tokido headed out. No, where do you go? With me, where do you go? You One son of a guess. Oh, the anti thought you Oh, oh too far away for the stand. This is so unfortunate. Oh, I told you. Big Bird delivered. While Big Bird will ultimately fall in the next round to Lashar, his manhandling of one of the legends of Street Fighter was so much fun to watch. Do you like forces? Well, we like forces. And we're not talking about Jerry. At number three, we have one of the best sets of the tournament. Capcom 10 runner-up Chris Wong versus North America's best hope, Punk the God, where the two go back in time and play some good old-fashioned neutral. Chris Wong is playing Luke. Punk is playing Cammy, and right from the opening bell, these two came out firing. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all. Chris Wong finds the first opening and shows off his reflexes with a lightning quick DP to counter Cammy's dive kick. kick. That was at the beginning, though. That wasn't even a fill out. He reacted to that. Oh, That's yeah. Chris Wong. The next round, he does the same, this time catching a dive kick with a level two super that has the commentator shook. Wow, he back throws him there. Oh, oh what? No. He's cracked out. But Punk clapped back, putting Chris in the corner and patiently picking them apart. The patience from Punk right now. Mm. Oh, on the toe. Yep, that's plus. Oh, oh jump. yep. Uh. Minus frames. Oh, look at that, mm. just poking right afterwards. Goes right into the level three. As the set continue on, the pace started to slow down. Maybe it was the New York air that had these two doing their best turtle style impression, but these guys were dancing pixels away from each other for nearly 20 minutes straight. Kicks and jabs flying, shuffling back and forth, filling each other out. It was like going back in time and watching Street Fighter Third Strike at the highest level. Oh, it's real quiet. That's good neutral. Yo, real quiet. <laughs> oh, it's good. That's quiet, bro. <laughs> Unfortunately for Chris Wong, Punk's composure was immaculate. Just a little bit more to get proper space. Oh, Saving man. that drive game. Punch a medium was... kick and still continues to go. Nice. Punk the God on the run right now. The games are tied three apiece. We're on game seven. This is the oh, best of the Oh, that was out of the air. That was out of the air. Oh. 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 I got one ball. Can you kill it? No. Can you kill this? Bar. That's is a burnout, this... though. At least. Oh. oh. That kill. It killed. Oh. Even when he was trapped in the corner against Luke, Punk never lost his cool. While most players will resort to some desperate, high-risk options to try and reset neutral, Punk said, nah, I'm just gonna walk out of here. Pushing Chris Wong back and confidently regaining center stage. One of the best moments from this set was a subtle one. In neutral, the two are playing footsies and Punk backsteps just pixels out of range from Chris Wong's low forward. Seeing the whiff, Punk reacts instantly, unleashing a punish and winning the round. Little things like this were happening throughout the entire set. And while Punk went on to win it 5-3, watch these two play mind games with each other was a real treat. Coming in at number two, we have the opposite of our previous set. This was a high-flying balls-to-the-wall battle that at some points looked more like a game of Marvel vs. Capcom than Street Fighter VI. Chris Wong, Capcom Cup 10 grand finalist and arguably the best player in Asia East right now, was up against Duel Kevin, who made it to the Kumite final event through the last chance qualifier. Unfortunately for Kevin, Chris Wong has played against Gachikun a couple of times and has plenty of Rashid experience. Out the gate, Chris Wong takes the first game and looks stone cold. Patient, precise, he looks like a wall of pain slowly advancing towards Duel Kevin. Even the commentators call him out for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of not wanting to mess with that, Chris Wong is on full defense mode right now. He is. he is not interacting at all. But Duel Kevin is unfazed and finds an opening, taking his first round of the set. By the mixer, though. Counter hit two. Mm. Level one, is that enough? Super kick. Oh, and it should come as no surprise, since Kevin has played against Punk a ton in the past, with steely resolve, Kevin faces down Chris Wong and calls him out to take game two. You're not getting anything. Oh, oh my God, God. just Robert in time. Coming. He just challenged it. He's just like, get time. your last kick out of here. Okay, time to guess, baby. It's hard. Are you going to drive reversal? No, you're taking the hit, the overhead. overhead. And this is enough. This should be enough. Oh, yeah. oh he still got, sure. that he got that got super he he One to one. We got a real set here. After Chris Wong takes game three. Rashid's uh, OD spinning mixer, though. Yeah, they did. You're right. It's oh, all right. Level two. Yeah, here we go. What's a good... Wow. Oh, he's like, nah, son. He, he saw the dash. Arms. The dash into his oh. Level two, ineffective. Oh, wow. Get, try oh, to get the perfect the pair. That should be enough. The micro Beast mode, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Hit da, 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 da. Hold on, let me hit the slow mode. Duel Kevin reaches into his bag and calls on his experience as a Marvel versus Capcom player, pulling out an insane string to close out game four. Whoa, there's the 
Flash in the corner. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm out. Wow. I'm out. Where are you going? Oh, they got the level three. No. no. That was crazy. Oh, my no. God. Oh, Chris, what just happened? In trouble. Yo, Overhead. Yo, that was for the throw. They are scrambling Bro, right now. You know what? Don't care for the Street Fighter 6 player, but that was some marble right that there, baby. That was definitely some marble. From here, the set goes the full distance. High octane offense, perfect parries, and immaculate defense, game after game after game. Oh, he's gonna drive rush and get a huge punish yeah. there. And the pace of this game is speeding up to a dual Kevin pace where it's a lot harder for Chris Wong to get his game yep, started. Yep, yep. It's green on the fight. Small hold on the parry. You can see him kind of getting into this position. He's yeah, getting yeah, into yeah, this yeah. perfect parry punish oh, position, oh, oh, oh. but still gets hit by the trade right there, both of them. Yeah. Back in the corner, time to guess, good check. Spike. Ooh, Kevin picking up steam, catches oh. him low with the crowd short. And takes him all the way to the corner in two sequences just like that. Is this a marble three set play right now? No, no perfect no, parry. But you can't do anything about that. He gets away because he just bounces nice away. Nice back dash again. Oh, wow. Oh, the jump. What? He got the power up jump. Yep, he used the last frames of the Typhoon to get in there. That was OD, dual Kevin. You're in the corner. He's wow. Been, yeah, a lot of neutral jumps. What a jab check by Dual Kevin on that neutral jump. I was literally about to say, he's so confident in, like, stuffing dash. Oh, wow. His throw one first. Jabs. Okay. Uh -oh, what are you going to do? Look, look at the do? drive gauges. Look at the drive gauges. He wants to burn Chris Wong out. Yeah, there, there it is. is. What can you do? He's got a level two, though, he, so you can't just... He, he, he can chip. Damage. He can chip you look out. Look at the chip damage. He can chip look you out. No he can else. chip you out. This New York crowd is going off. The set ends in truly dramatic fashion. Game nine, round one. Chris Wong traps Kevin in the corner, but Kevin gets a nasty punish count and puts Chris in the corner. Burnt out, Chris eats a combo, but back dashes to avoid the throw, then whiff punishes to win the round. Get the back dash. Oh, I'm telling you, oh, the yeah. master. We've the, been talking about the this. The master of back dashes. But Kevin isn't finished yet. He gets a big opening, pushing Chris into the corner. Chris successfully back dashes again, but cannot convert and Kevin hits him with a drive impact. After neutral resets, Kevin finds an opening and unleashes a level two super. We're not being greedy. We're gonna spend this We're level two. We're gonna spend two, this though. level two. Oh, oh overhead. Jab, jab, throw, oh, throw. Final, final, three. Three. final oh, round. Final round. Let's go. Oh, the low four. Are we spending drive it, though? Are we, oh, we doing spending it? Are we We're spending it? it. No, 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 no. Corner yeah. carry. Oh, oh, my God. Good. Here we go. Uh, He's got a knee uh, side. Uh, He's got a knee uh, side. Uh, ready to go. So uh, about this. All right. What's the guess? What's the mix? Taking the block. Good trade. Again, we're spending all the bar. It's not enough, though. One more shot. Do Kevin. What do you got? In our opinion, the most electrifying set of the tournament, Duel Kevin nearly upsets the Capcom Cup 10 runner-up, doing so after qualifying through the last chance qualifier. What a way to make your Red Bull Kumite debut. Now, before we get to our number one moment, let's take a second and appreciate the coldest man in the room at Red Bull Kumite. I'm referring to, of course, the bouncer known as L.I. Joe. It didn't matter who it was or how well they played. When they approached Joe to hand in their player tokens, they were in for some good old-fashioned New York trash talk. Keep the seat next to Hibiki warm for me on that plane ride. <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of piece of advice, Mr. Crimson. Go back to Street Fighter V. I don't know what all you guys are cheering for. Oh, wait, you know what? Here, take this home and give it to the better bird.
If that was me, I wouldn't shake that man's hand at all. Not one bit. Hell, we're not friends anymore. We also want to highlight Lashar, whose run to the semifinals included a destructive set against Oil King and eliminated the reigning champ Big Bird in quarters, before finally falling to Knuckle Dew. They showed off the potential of Chung Lee, and we're super excited to see them continue to compete in future tournaments. All right, let's round out our number one moment from Red Bull Kumite 2024. This one had the building shaken, and the glory goes to none other than the champion himself, Mena RD. After that big scare in round one against Broski, Mena went God mode, dropping only one game to Gachi Kun, and won a combined 10-0 against Punk in the semifinals and Knuckle doing grands. And while his Blanca was electric throughout the entire event, there was one moment that stands out above the rest. Mena RD versus Punk, game four, round three. Punk is in burnout, and Mena catches him with a drive impact in the corner. At this point, Punk still has around two-thirds of his health, and I don't think anyone is expecting a kill combo, but Mena is cooking something devious. He drops his favorite toy and starts the combo, electrifying his Blanca-chan and dropping another one to continue the combo. Just when it looked like Punk will be able to play the game again, Mena performs a Houdini-like side switch to completely cross him up fires off a level two super and takes his Blanca-chan for a walk to center stage where he gets a ridiculous combo extension to finish the round. That setup was disgusting, Persia. That was revolting. The last minute side switch and then it continued on. Man, in a Red Bull Kumite semi-final, you're styling like that? Even Punk couldn't help but smile after being on the receiving end of that destruction. This moment basically summed up Mena RD's tournament run and cements him as one of the greatest Street Fighter VI players in the world. And that's it for our top five Red Bull Kumite moments. Let us know in the comments which one was your favorite or whatever other moments you really enjoyed. This is IFC Yipe signing out. See y'all next year. One love.